Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard drive here, fine tune CB. I'm gonna try to show you a couple more things here before we go to bed. It's like uh, 6 30 in the morning. Anyways, you probably see something that looks a little bit different up there. I've been talking about how I'm gonna update a few things. And while doing so, I'll try to show you a few more things. A little bit more about insertion loss. Okay, I'm going to be updating quite a few things in the future, as you can see. Here's another one. Instead of having to connect and disconnect, you know, as we can see here, very, very short wire. <coughs> very short wire. This is the same radio at 114 dB down at 12 sine ed. Okay, and you can see everything there. All right. Oh yeah, you're seeing me use another port. Well, that's that's uh, because it's a dual pl duplex. In the future, as of starting today, this is always input. This is always output. All right, and that's controlled not through the attenuator. But there's an attenuator, but you can see the uh, off, out, and duplex. Now, watch, I'll change it. Okay, it goes back and forth. So anyways, let me remove this. We'll use this for specific testing. Very accurate testing. Here's another one, right here. This is a real emphenol, like the eight, nine dollar ends. It's all soldered. And just like this one here, this one here runs straight back. And there's like two foot on the back of this, like countertop or table, that's wide open. The top up here has holes in it for circulation. But it just runs back, down, and straight into the sampler. I have pictures of that from the sampler. And it goes right here. There's a, a tap, like a Y tap, that feeds the scope and uh, the spectrum analyzer. And the, uh, <clears throat> RF generator now is just going to run straight out of this port. It runs straight back. It runs along the back of the scope to the wall over there and uh, to this switch. This here is output. Well, the coax runs in from the radio. Out. Back around. Right there. Comes out and there's the taps. That's everything. All right, so now this is now uh, let me plug it in here. Injection, okay? Instead of output, that's going to be injection. And what I want to show you is, oh, those are antenna switches. In the future, I might have to make some. It's hard finding things that actually work. Those are uh, like break before makes. They're they're not the best switches in the world, but they're decent. There's no noise being introduced to the system at all whatsoever. That's been tested. But there's loss. Okay. On the way out here, there isn't another SO239 on the back. The coax is actually soldered. All right. It's all direct connection. On the back here, it is. A SO239 and a PL259 that is soldered to the under, other end of this. So now let's take a look. I'll zoom in maybe a little bit. You notice we lost about a dB. Alright? About one dB loss. Is that actually it? It is. Here, watch. which coincides with the 40 dB attenuation plus one with the attenuator. So when you hear me say, if I start repeating it, plus one, you'll know what it's all about, okay? In the future, you'll be able to see the signal. We'll be pulling from the port right here that's fed from the radio right here 
so we could test signal to noise ratio, distortion, cyanide, etc. to right here. This will be able to shut the tone off, not off, but to where I don't have to listen to it, you can just view it on the scope. Yeah, I broke one of the switches. These speed, this this power here. It depends on what I'm running, how I'm running it, etc. Okie dokie. By the way, that panel pretty much controls everything in here. If you look at it, you'll get a good idea what it does. Oh, and uh, that's the antenna on the top. AB, antenna bench. That accesses, accesses the antenna. Just like that. Okay? And that is for the bench radio. So now, this is the input. This whole thing was drawn out like a schematic. Oh, in the 90s. In Nevada. I had Rocky with me. In a little motel casino restaurant close to 318 618 93 going south turn to the right hang a left going south again there's a McDonald's on the right truck parking it broke into like a three or four lane from the two lane go down a couple miles or so on the left hand side I can't remember the casino but it was drawn out on a placemat you might be thinking, why am I waiting so long? Well, no, I built a bunch of benches. And this is just the completion of it. It, it takes time, trust me. Everything still can be used, but to do it faster and to be able to produce videos. See, uh, the output, the, the dual tone and the various tones, single tone, that will be injected into the back of this also. I might even use another tone generator so I can do all these things. But also, you'll be able to view it on the scope on uh, channel 4. That's going to be a little while. I got a lot of work to get done. This took time just doing this. And I hope everybody has a great day. I hope you, you see that. I mean, it's plain as day. Even with the guy that's a complete nut when it comes to solder joints, and I am very, very, very picky. I don't know, that's seven foot, six or seven foot of coax top of the line, top of the line even the coax itself to the switch it's not that much plus, you know it's just one connection now so it's this piece here that goes right there the phasing is correct and then connected right here back along the wall to the meter that's 1 dB of attenuation you seen it? Alright, have a great day. I gotta catch some Z's. Catch y'all later. Quick, quick.